there? Same Bryson. 431 yards, he's got that club. Would you expect anything different than Bryson DeChambeau coming into 2021 driving par fours? I think that, that one got the full treatment there. That was uh, about 100%. Working with World Long Drive champion Kyle Berkshire during the holiday break, DeChambeau picked up a few new tricks. A lot of it has to do with pushing the limits of your body and going for long hours. You, you know, I don't know if you've ever experienced a runner's high or something like that where you get these extra endorphins and that's kind of what breaks your, your neurological uh, CNS, I guess it's just what, what breaks your, your nervous system down. That's kind of a basic principle of what he's done. He's just overworked his CNS like a madman. I just gotta learn to hone it in. Got that? A Hawaiian paradise? Now that's a language I understand. We kicked off 2021 in Maui at the Century Tournament of Champions this week. Usually it's only the winners from the past calendar year that are in the field at Kapalua, but because of the shortened season due to the pause for the pandemic, those that qualified for the 2020 Tour Championship were also eligible. Among them, Harris English. So English, not a winner in 2020, is now the first winner of 2021. The best shot of the year. Okay, I know we're only one tournament in, but look at this second shot on 18 from Harris on Sunday with the tournament within reach. What a shot. Look at this. Harris English. He went on a win in a playoff over Joaquin Neiman. That par 5 finishing hole was a lot of fun to watch these guys go for it. Colin Morikawa stepped up to the plate and delivered. Let's see if it carries everything. It does. Oh, oh it does. Barely. Look at this shot. Go in. DeChambeau from 244 yards out, unloading it from the fairway on Sunday on 18, playing 668. Go ahead and almost go in. I don't know about you, but I've really enjoyed Jim Bones Mackay on the broadcast, and he had a lot of funny commentary this week, so I'm going to call his phrases Bonesisms. The first one, rope-a-dope. Let's use it in a sentence. 280 to the front edge of the green. So he's just looking here to hit the rope-a-dope three wood, really catch it flush, turn it over, and look for a good first bounce. Not sure exactly what Robodope is, but something tells me that wasn't it. Not sure that's exactly how he <laughs> drew it up, but it's going to work out beautifully. Look at where this ends up. Can you spot the next Bonesism? Yeah, time for these guys to get off the schneid and make a little noise. He's heading towards the center of the green and cutting him. What a beautiful shot. Yeah, that's what I call wow. making some noise. Is that for Eagle? Ryan Palmer definitely got off the schneid, converting Eagle on Sunday while in contention, and an Eagle is the definition of breaking a losing streak. While we're on definitions, this is the definition of robbed. Colin Morikawa couldn't get any more on target. Wow. That was almost off the board and in. That's how good they are, but these next shots are way more relatable for golfers like me. Beware of the Valley of Regret. The 15th at Kapalua took many victims. Well, he just got a bad visual off Billy Horschel, who had the same shot and kind of stuck his club in the ground and came right back to his feet. So it looks like he's done the exact same thing. So just compounding the air on the second shot, and both of them are just kicking themselves right now over a great scoring opportunity. That is amazing. No, that is relatable, and so is Joaquin Neiman's. Oh. oh! Valley of Regret. Also relatable, getting stuck in traffic on your way to work. You know, traffic's gotten awful on Maui, bro. <laughs> you gotta do something about it. The Aloha Swing continues at the Sony Open in Honolulu, so if you are stuck in the cold, warm up with these views. I will have your recaps all week long in the takeaway on PGATour.com.